Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, I have more tea coming for you about what went down at the reunion. Yes, I know a lot of people are like, it's so far away and we don't know exactly what is going to happen and we don't even know if bravo is going to be showing everything that you know really went down so i have the tea for you but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh, mess Ay, Dios mío. No. My friend, my son, and my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can you Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Ooh, 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 ooh. Better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, um, I already gave you a little bit of tea of what went down at the reunion uh, yesterday. It was just a little tease from things that we have been hearing here and there. We have the seating arrangement. We know some of the things that were discussed. There are all of these rumors that the uh, reunion might not be as explosive as you think it's going to be. Even though a lot of things are going to be discussed and another things are not going to be discussed. Okay? So, now... I still have more tea. This time it's coming from an Instagram page called Your Moms Are Watching. And, you know, she is bringing us a lot of tea, all right? So let's just dive into it. Um, and then we're just going to discuss. So it says, at the reunion, allegedly, the biggest drama is going to be between Kyle Richards and Kathy Hilton. Kathy Hilton blames Kyle for everything that happened in Aspen, of course, like at issue B, and Kyle did not fight back very much. She took a lot of abuse. So how is abuse a word, first of all? Now, I'm thinking after we have been seeing from Kyle on this episode, she has been pushing Kathy Hilton a lot. So I've, I've said it before and I'm going to keep saying it. Whatever she's telling her, I think Kyle deserves it. And maybe that's why she's staying quiet because she knows that she did something wrong. She push and push and poke and poke and you cannot poke a bear and expect that nothing is going to happen. I mean, there is so much. So um, what is the saying? So more, so must, so more. Latino moment, guys. There is so much that people can handle. Is that the right thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But you know what I mean, you know? So anyways, uh, let's move on. It says, Erica Jane is bringing up the homophobic lore. We know that that was going to happen. Remember that I told you guys that Lisa Rena and Erica Jane and Diana Jenkins were going to join forces to try to take Kathy Hilton down with the homophobic and the racist lore? Yep. So Erica Jane is bringing up the homophobic slur. Kathy Hilton is denying saying it. Kathy Hilton is denying everything from Aspen. They did show the ladies clips from the last three episodes of the season while they were filming the reunion. Remember that we did a video that it was unprecedented for the first time that they they are always able to watch the episodes before they go into the reunion. This is the first time that they are completely blind and that they are actually watching pieces right there in the reunion. Uh, nobody has seen the last three episodes in totality. Okay. Lisa Rena is bringing up the text Kathy Hilton sent her that said, please do not mention my rant about Kyle. And Kathy Hilton denies sending it. Andy asked for Rena's phone and Rena gave it to him. And there is the text Kathy Hilton sent. Now, my question about this one is, did Andy Cohen call the number to certify that that was a Kathy Hilton number? Because you can easily change any contact, put Kathy Hilton, and of course the text message is going to see uh, look like Kathy Hilton. Was there more story? 
was there more conversation? We need to know about that because we know that Lisa Rena, she likes to, you know, lies. Um, let's see. Oh, this one is important, guys. Patrick Summers was not brought up at the reunion. And this is something that, look, I have been telling you from the beginning. I don't know if Patrick Summer is the real deal, but I am not going to dismiss him until we get some clarification, right? With that being said, I'm so sorry, but the fans and we have been following this whole Patrick Summer situation, and we know that Patrick Summer have had conversations with Kathy Hilton, with Denise Richards, with Lisa Rena. And this is something that we all wanted to know, at least to get acknowledged, at least to be like, hey, what about this guy who is saying all of these crazy things? But to not mention it at all, it, to me, it means culpability. It means I'm not going to talk about that because it could draw me even more. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And they're going to try to maybe disguise this it as... Oh, you know, that that's a, a no one. We're just not going to talk about that. And it, that would be right if it was, you know, one of us bloggers who were just like doing a random rant, right? But we know that there has been conversations with other housewives. We know that there is a story between him and Lisa Rena, And we know that the fans are very, very interesting into knowing what is the story of Patrick Summers. <clears throat> so... Why was not brought up? I don't get it, you know? Uh, let's see. Sheree was not at the reunion. Was not at the reunion. And I'm telling you, she is not coming back. She is not coming back. People really don't like her. And honestly, she flip-flops so much. I don't, I don't think she's going to be returning. More reunion tea. <clears throat> Allegedly, Kyle took the blame for all the drama in Aspen because she is getting hit from her nieces and nephews. They do not want her calling out Aunt Kathy for anything. Also, Kyle's daughter is getting married this year and Kyle doesn't want to wreck the wedding with family drama. This is all alleged. So what I'm taking from this, honestly, more than she feeling pressure for, from her nieces and, uh, and all of that, I think that Ka Kyle doesn't want to destroy her daughter's wedding, you know? And I think that she knows that she did something wrong, so that's why she's just, like, backing up from everything. From what I can gather through bits and pieces of intel I have gotten, the reunion <clears throat> on the whole was not very eventful. There was no walkout, security was not called, and some conflicts were actually resolved. And that part, honestly, this season has been too, too, like, intense. Are we going to be thinking that a Kumbaya reunion is what we need? Because that is not going to be good. <clears throat> the most dramatic moment of the reunion when Erica finally says, Kathy, you called the DJ and all effing F got <laughs> will likely get edited out. The reason Garcelle does not hold Kathy Hilton to task for anything she may have said during her alleged meltdown in Aspen is because well, Garcelle was not at the Caribou Club when that happened. No cameras allowed in the club, so it was not filmed. All we have is Erica's word. So there you have it, guys. That's what we've been hearing from the reunion. I am I'm worried. I'm going to say that I'm worried because it doesn't sound like a reunion that is going to live up to the expectations and to the season. And it's not good. I'm so sorry, but if the most explosive part was Erica Jane telling that to Kathy Hilton, what about everything that Erica Jane is doing? I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I have this feeling of disappointment. I don't know. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all of this mess. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.